previously in War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. Between the 17th and 22nd of August 1942, our forces have continued to harass a number of Japanese Type B submarines that have been operating around the Santa Cruz and Rennell Islands. Several aerial attacks have forced the Japanese subs to dive without any confirmed sinkings. However, our ASW patrol has been more successful, sending a couple down to the bottom. Our own submarines have re-established contact with a large Japanese task group consisting of heavy and light cruisers, destroyers and a number of merchant ships. Several attacks have claimed the sinking of one destroyer and heavily damaging a second. However, there has been disappointment as a number of our torpedoes have struck the heavy cruisers but failed to detonate. Our mission remains unchanged. We are continuing to build up our presence in the Rennell Islands. Shipping resources in to upgrade our ports and airfields, which will become key as we set our sights on Guadalcanal. The following action takes place between 1000 hours on the 22nd to 900 hours on the 29th of August 1942. Okay, early morning. Our task group with the anti submarine group has now been engaged. We've got to let's begin turning anyway. I'm not sure what we're looking for. New contact. Oh, the aircraft coming in. Okay. Right, okay. I wonder what this was. We didn't see any warning of this. Right, you start blasting away that way. Selfridge, you go the other way, in fact. Hughes, you break that way as well. Just trying to... Uh, the Hughes has just joined these guys, as you know. So let's just hope this doesn't cause a calamity. Don't you dare crash into each other. Aircraft coming in. Okay. Looks like we've got some bombers coming in. Okay, as the case continues to fire, no damage was done, which is great. So a nice bit of evasive action by the group. We'll bring them back together now and um, get these guys back on their anti-submarine patrol. So one killed, one damaged, but um, we're all okay, so that's the main thing. Okay, one of our Avengers who's out patrolling off the north of the rain line and have uh, spotted something. Let's have a look. Let's bring their... Um, nothing appearing yet. Hmm, I wonder what that was. Let's patrol over here. Uh, it could be that there's um, some aircraft being taken off from the bottom canal, maybe coming this way. That could be it. In which case, we want to get this aircraft out there, report it and get out and uh, safely home as quickly as possible. At the moment, I can't see any... Oh, hello. No, it's a bit of muck on my screen. <laughs> Sorry. Stand down. Yeah, nothing seeing so far. Maybe it was just another aircraft, another spotter aircraft or something. Maybe that was it. Yeah, I don't see anything obvious. There's nothing on the sea. We'd have spotted that by now. So I think it must have been just another aircraft. 
Um, we're not shot down yet, so it's not zero. So it's probably just the spotter aircraft we've been having an encounter with. Nothing to report. Okay, we'll continue on our patrol then and uh, get back to it. Okay, I think we know what it is. There is a group of bombers coming in over, um, well, to Rennell Island by the looks of it. Uh, it was this Avenger that spotted it earlier on. So, what you may have noticed is that I've swapped the Wildcats with the Avengers. So the Avengers are now doing the um, patrols. So we've got four Wildcats sitting here, fueled up, ready to attack. So, let's send those to intercept these bombers. And at 10.52, the Wildcats are in the area. Let's see if we can spot these bombers. Where are they? There's Rennell Island there. Let's bring up the hub. Where are these bombers? We know they're here. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. Okay, there they are. Got one down already. Beautiful. Beautiful. One smoking. Is it coming for a sneak attack? Ooh, he's running our tail. We're, we're damaged now. Only one enemy aircraft remains. Tailgun is going nuts. There's all four Wildcats descend on her. It's going to have to reload soon. Maybe, maybe not. It's going nuts. Yeah, after the... Um, attack on the anti-submarine patrol around the Rennell Islands. I thought I'd swap the Wildcats out with the... Oh, has he got one of our aircraft? I thought I'd swap them out with one of our um, Avengers, so uh, we'd get the fighters ready to attack any incoming bombing aircraft and try to shoot down our or bomb our uh, anti-submarine patrol destroyers. Somebody's smoking badly. Waiting for them to open up with their guns. There we go. The last Japanese fight or bomber sent down, still with bombs on board. Nice, good shooting, boys. Good shooting, happy with that. And the after combat confirms three aircraft, three losses for the Japanese forces. Four aircraft engaged from our side. And we're all okay. That damaged aircraft managed to get back to base. Okay. Okay, and we've got a, an encounter with Task Force 9 down here. It's our anti submarine patrol, and some bo aircraft have got through. They, it looks like fighters. Bombers tend to have little black marks to signify bombs on there. So it's just gone, quarter, uh, just gone midday, 16 minutes past 12 on the 23rd. Let's see. Um, are they going to strafe with zeros? That seems weird, weird. Let's go and see what's going on. Zero, so all they can do is strafe, so I'm not going to do an emergency um, maneuvers. But they are coming in. One down. They're strafing our ship. Really? Really? A little bit of fire damage. Okay. So there's the torpedoes. How bizarre. Get the fire out and get that. That's so weird. Why on earth did they try that? We should be able to get that repaired in Nickety. Split, no issues done. Fire will be repaired in 80 seconds. Okay. A little bit of time has passed. Those aircraft have now left the combat zone. We're just keeping an eye on the Selfridge. Um, fire's out. 
repairs are currently underway. We're just going to let this uh, repairs run out so we uh, complete repairs before we leave the uh, tactical view. And that way this ship should be spick and span to continue on the patrol. Okay, so we need to get those aircraft up if they're going to send Zeros to strafe our destroyers. That just seems quite random, I suppose. We're not quite at the kamikaze stage yet, but I wasn't expecting that. And there we go. So, end of action report. Selfridge managed to complete all repairs within the engagement, so shows us no damage or no flooding. Uh, they lost two aircraft to that, and two were smoking badly. So this Rennell Island is definitely uh, looking like um, the, the hot spot coming up. So, uh, yeah, it'd be good to get this to a port uh, tier 3. Which will need 2,000 supplies. We've got loads of supplies. Um, 200 engineering, 200 fuel. So we've got none at the moment. At just gone 1 p.m., we've got more zeros coming in to strafe our destroyers, which is a bit weird. There's two of them. They've always, already taken a bit of it. I think there's two of them. There may be more. They're coming low. There's our destroyers there. Here they come. Oh, how do you survive that? They're both smoking. And indeed, Hugh, Hugh's managed to complete the, uh, the repairs before the end of the conflict and put out the fires, so no damage done. Fantastic! Those two aircraft managed to slink away though. Meanwhile, we spotted some ships in one of our search planes. It's an Avenger. And it looks like the same kind of task group. The two uh, destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and lots of they two oilers and then four um, motion ships. Well, we got a torpedo. Now it's going to be a bit of a hard task uh, attacking that thing. But let's um, let's come down though. Uh, let's now get over here. Actually, going to have a go at what I believe. Let's target number six. Now, I believe, okay, which I think might be the Nippon Maru oiler. I think it is. Well, there's actually three oilers and three um, other aircraft. So, if we target, actually, if we target seven. Oh no, 6 is probably going to be the one we actually managed to get to. Right, let's attack that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and get the oiler. Well, one of the oilers anyway. I know we always go for the heavy cruisers usually, but I think we need to start hitting them where it's really going to hurt, and that is in the um, resource department. No. We have picked the oiler right behind the heavy cruisers, which is going to be a little bit chancy but this is definitely worth the, uh, the gamble okay, we got some fire from the destroyers coming in now as well almost there hold on a few more minutes well seconds look at that any aircraft fire torpedo away oh ramp oh she's going in just in front Brave, brave boys. Okay, there's the torpedo. It looks like it's the ships are turning and evading, so the torpedo might just sneak in front, or are we going to get a hit? Oh, it's just gone under. Unbelievable. Right, how about that third boiler? Is she in trouble? We might get lucky with this one. 
we might get lucky. We we're unlucky with the first, we might get lucky with the, the second or third, whichever. Oh, is she going to be just quick enough to get away from us? No! Oh, ho, ho, ho. damage to the oiler. Nice. How bad is it? Doesn't look too bad. She's um she's wild Oh hello! Oh no 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 I take that back. She's just engulfed in flames all of a sudden. Oh the the, the fire cruiser Ooh Battling hard, the flames are ebbing and flowing. I thought they're just gonna put that out there, but yeah, all of a sudden I thought, oh, okay, that was a hit, nothing much happening and woof. Something got hot, touched something flammable, and boom, the oiler is in trouble. Now, the fires are getting thicker. They're not waning like, oh no, tell a lie, there they go, they waned. And they're coming back strong again. And so, confirmation, our brave air crew were lost, but they took down, not the Nippon Maru they were targeting, but a second one for 10,000 tonnes of oil. That is amazing. Seven command points gained. Awesome. 10.30 on the 24th of August, our anti-submarine patrol once again have been engaged. Not quite sure by what. No aircraft showing, so case. The game turns, we can only assume it's uh, a U boat firing torpedoes. Oh, yes, torpedoes coming in. Yes, okay. Hard over, hard over, hard over, hard over. Whack it up. Speed up, speed up, speed up. I'll be close if we get past this one. I think we've done okay. Ooh, is that the only one? Yeah, so they go. Ooh, almost didn't see them. Right, let's slow down and begin listening. It's okay, so they came from over here. Bridge. You continue to follow. All's okay. They're listening as well. Right. Let's go hunting this U-boat. Where are you? Where are you? Looks like a couple of dings and scratches on our paintwork. Oh, is that her? Yes, we got a target. Guessing it's going to be a Type B. Target that one. Let's all target the same one. Right. Issue the attack. Let's have a look at it. She's 224 and she's diving. Okay. We'll go for about 14 seconds. Okay. We're nearing the point where she was. We've lost contact with her. soon what speed do you do 19 slow down a bit let's help help our uh, overall there she is right you guys I think you guys just kind of listen you go slow and I'll go in with the case that's probably the easiest way she is. Right, we're going hard over. Oh, 
Alright, depth charges. Uh, what is she? 246? Yeah, we'll go about 14 seconds. Type B class submarine. Aren't they all? Alright, rudder right amidships. There she is. Actually, do a, bit, a little bit of um, port rudder. Right we do 90 knots. No, we don't need to be going that quick. She's not going anywhere. Alright, rudder right amidships. Depth charges away. Did some damage on that last depth charge. She's got some damage on the nose. She's starting to drift down. She may emergency blow. We've got Selfridge and Hughes keeping an eye. Down to 300 feet. I think she's in trouble. Yeah, I think she's in trouble. I think we've got a emergency blow. Is that going to make an effect? Oh, yeah, she is coming shallow. Right, with the case. Slow down. Full stop. Selfridge. Full stop. And Q's. Full stop. No, she didn't have enough gas to get up. She blew emergency ballast, emptied all the air tanks, but no, she didn't have enough to uh, get to the surface. So she's just gonna sadly slip away with the poor crew on board. However, for us, it's a great victory. Destroyer case claimed to her first uh, Type B submarine. Um, there was an aircraft in the area, it must have been one of the patrolling um, aircraft. But we sunk a Type B for 3,650 tonnes. Six points gained, woohoo! Okay, that's 20 to 11 on the 25th. Um, task Group 27, our uh, Sabri Supply Convoy has, uh, has made it to uh, Renault Islands. Let's uh, unload all cargo. There we go, all done. Looking good, lots of supplies there. Good, let's send Task Force 27 back to New Hebrides, as is their, their lot in life. And so we are, there we go, we're halfway to getting another run and we'll be able to upgrade one of those um, bases, whether it be the, uh, the Navy base or the air base. Good, over here we've just got um, level one port and level two air base. I think an air oh, we need I want at least level three on both here to be honest with you. I'm thinking Oh, I don't know. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep um resupplying this uh base here until we've got a level three airfield and a level three port, I think. I we'll get the airfield first because if we get more aircraft, I think we might get a a twitch up to more aircraft, but that could be level four, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, level three, we get uh, refueling and uh, resupply, so that'll be awesome. On the 26th of August at 20 past two, our Avenger has spotted something flying between Guadalcanal and the little channel there. Um, she spotted the convoy. There it is. I couldn't see it for a moment. I thought I got it wrong. There we go. A convoy. Now. It's a light cruiser there. Merchant ship, merchant ship, two light cruisers. Merchant, oh, oiler, oiler, 
merchant ship, boiler, two destroyers. Right. Let's target that one. Yeah, we got it targeted. Right, let's um, drop our altitude. Okay, with the Nippon Maru highlighted and targeted, we're going to come in. What's worrying is these, this has got light cruisers. There's obviously multiple of these supply lines with the heavy cruisers and, um, and light cruisers guarding them. Right, we're going to make our torpedo run now. Wish us luck. Right, they've seen us. You can see they are gunning their engines here. Got two destroyers out front, two tankers, a tanker and a merchant, two light cruisers, two merchants. That's the end. I've also ordered the uh, the blackfish to this area. It wasn't too far away, and hopefully the blackfish can get in here and uh, cause a bit of disruption. Here comes some anti-aircraft fire. Pretty good so far. Okay, here we come. God, this is scary, isn't it? Torpedo away. Oh, he got him again. Brave, brave crew. It's a glorious hit. Another tanker hit. A little bit of time later, the flyer, the fire is spreading. I think it's only a matter of time now until they lose this ship. I think that's it. They've given up. They've lost the fight. Another tanker sent to the bottom. By another one of our brave air crews. Who gave their aircraft possibly their lives to make this victory happen. Small victory though it is. They all count to the greater picture. So there we go, confirmation we lost one aircraft, but another Nippon Maru tanker sunk 10,000 tons and seven command points gained. Meanwhile, that evening, Blackfish makes it into the combat area. Scope up. Oh, we're seeing them on the hydrophone there. Right, what we got what in the way of torpedoes? We've got um, six in the front and four in the rear. Yeah, start turning. Let's have a look at the scope, see what we've got. Oh, there they are. Same formation? No. Maybe. Alright, let's target you. You are the oiler. I don't think they've seen this yet, which is good. Right, uh, again we'll get her identified. Oh, not as a, no, sorry. As a, there we go. I read that Nippon Maru, and for some reason it had the um, submarine marked on there, which is a bit weird. Right, so we've got our solutions being locked in now. We're going to turn, continue our turn. I'm not going to use that and alert them to our presence. We're going to do a full six torpedoes, and the solution solution is good. We'll do a we'll do a nice big spread as well. So there's a lot of ships there, and we know these torpedoes are absolute trash. 
and if we've got time we'll try and turn and get the rear torpedoes away as we're running. Right, we've got a solution of 70% eye on the target. Don't know if that helps. Probably not. Right. Let's uh, quieten it down. Right. I'm going to launch. Come this way. And then we'll get the rear tubes ready to fire. Okay, here come the first lot of torpedoes. Blackfish is still making her turn. Now the forward torpedoes look good to so maybe get a couple of strikes on her. Oh, that rear one missed. So did. Oh wow, they didn't miss by much. Okay, we got some ships trying to do, pull some maneuvers. Got another hit, which is good. She's smoking. Maybe get a third hit here. Oh, she's going to thread the needle. Oh, we got this light cruiser coming in, which could cause panic and confusion. We love that. And the light cruiser might get herself in a spot of bother here. Yes, she has. Now, is she going to compound matters by turning into this one? No. Meanwhile, from Blackfish, um, we're still targeting the Nippon Maru. The solution is building. struggling as well so let's uh, reduce the angle the spread any poor torpedoes on the rear here anyway oh they're gonna bang it they've, they've hit each other right while there's confusion fire rear tubes gone right take us down to 30 300 feet Scope down. And at the end of that action, unfortunately, those second lot of torpedoes were uh, not on the mark due to the. the, the scattering of the convoy and the slowing down of the damaged ships um, so we find our torpedoes uh, one of the Nippon Marus moderate damage moderate flooding the one we first attacked moderate moderate we have a uh, light cruiser with minor damage and minor flooding so all in all pretty good attack sadly no killer blows and that's 710 on the 28th our uh, capping wildcats apparently run into some enemy Contacts. What have we got? Oh, we got a, ooh, we got a ship. It's a U-boat, right? Come in, all guns blazing. Okay, the aircraft have broke off and are individually coming in. Are they going to get there before he manages to dive? I don't think so. For the second pass, no, the lead aircraft comes over now. Still going to strafe. No damage. The sub has managed to escape. Oh, there's also zeros. Where are these come from? the attack. Oh, just 
is our strafe run. One of our aircraft is going down. Almost a mid air collision. Alright, we're on his tail now. Got him! Didn't think he was going to. That was woeful to begin with. Target one, attack. Target one, attack. Actually, can we target two? What on your tail? Aircraft coming in. Oh no, this is just suicide. Right, sunshine. Sixty feet, max you can. Let's go. I'm getting out of here. Turn into the oncoming aircraft. Oh, there's more oncoming aircraft. Bloody hell. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he got us! Ah, did what we could. Too low to bail out. Oh, I'm afraid we must have lost that airman. Confirmation again 4v8. We managed to down two, and no damage to the submarine as well. And at 11:40 a.m. The destroyers once again appear to be under threat from um, enemy aircraft. Yes, they are indeed. Target that. Fire. Selfridge, there's a second wave coming in. Target that. Fire. And these are bombers. You can see the um, the marking under the, uh, under the wings. So, speed up and begin uh, emergency turning. Selfridge. There they are. Two waves, eight aircraft. Oh, it's like they're coming straight for us on the Hughes. Disconcerting. One aircraft's down. Okay, as things start to settle down, let's check. Case is fine, Selfridge is fine, Hughes is absolutely fine. Right, let's get these ships back together. They've survived another challenge and uh, they're absolutely fine. Thank you, Miss. Confirmation our three destroyers are okay and two aircraft were shot down in that attempted attack. And just gone five on the 29th of August 1942. The light is up and our first spotter aircraft are taking off for the day to have a search. Uh, overnight, the Blackfish is reloaded and is heading back up to Guadalcanal to uh, patrol off there. And the task group um, 27 is here, ready to get some fuel and uh, supplies all the way up. Right, let's get that out of the way. Quite distracting. Right, let's get rid of those. Right, so first supply, let's get... Um, Let's get 200 engineer, uh, 200, uh, 100 engineering on that one. 100 engineering on that one. Supplies on that one. Oil on that one, and oil on that one. 
happy days. I might take some troops as well. Let's take another um, Portland. You can't take anything. Take some troops there. I think we're good. Right, so we've got quite a 200 in, in engineering, 200 fuel, and some supplies as well, and troops. They're going to head up to Rennell Islands. And that will be um, the port getting upgraded. Plus, they'll have some um, supplies already there, which should be awesome. We'd maybe just do a drop and then head over here. We could maybe bump that to a port. Probably not worth it, to be honest with you. We'll get the port done. We'll drop off the fuel there as well. Uh, we still got Task Group 9, the anti-submarine patrol going around Red Island. We know there's a sub there somewhere. Blackfish, as I said, is heading back up there. And as the aircraft head out for their patrols. We're going to leave it there for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Another episode of War on the Sea. It's uh, been reasonably successful. Got a couple of oil tankers, damaged a light cruiser and another oil tanker and a merchant ship as well. So all in all, not too bad with the loss of uh, some aircraft, which is always a shame, but we can replace them and the air crews sadly are just a statistic and we can get those replaced as well. Um, but yeah, we need to keep an eye out. There's definitely something happening around Port Moresby and there's obviously more happening from these Florida Islands and Guadalcanal. They've got a level 4 air base there, which means uh, level 5 and they get their, their medium bombers out, which will be a bit of a nightmare for us. Nothing at the Florida Isles at the moment. Okay, we've got 44 command points, so maybe maybe we start... Well, we could wait another until we've got another 40 command points and get a battleship, or more likely we'll probably get a, a couple of not too far away from getting a couple of uh, heavy cruisers and um, but that'll be it we need a like a cruiser force but I think we're kind of following Japan's tactics at the moment we've got our cruiser and most of our destroyers escorting the uh, the cargo ships to and from the resupplying of the bases and if we get enough troops there maybe we will do a raid on Guadalcanal that would be something that will be the first objective that we need. Um, and the Florida Islands we need to take. That will be build a rank 5 airfield, which we're not too far away from. We could probably try and brute force this, but um, we'll see how it goes. Losses. Uh, no further, just aircraft for us. So we still lost the Northampton, the Greeling and the Grouper some time ago. But enemy losses. So they have lost... A submarine plus two Nippon Maru oilers today. Uh, so almost 14, uh, sorry, 24,000 tons we've sunk today, which is pretty good. They've lost 11 aircraft. We've started to down some of their aircraft, which is um, positive because I thought our anti aircraft on the ships had been poor to this point. But it's starting to pay for itself. A total of 52,750 tons that they have lost compared to our 13,870. So we are definitely squeaking it just about, but there's it's nothing in it really. There's nothing in it at all. Right, until next time, take care. I'll see you then. Bye bye.